Hi there, uh, my name is Celia Yodan. I'm Chief Judge for the uh, 30th Lateral Insight Awards. Um, as we're opening this new round, um, it's always good to actually reflect whether uh, the awards program is right for yourself, for your product, for your business, for your university, for your organisation. Um, I thought I would take a few minutes to just make you uh, look at a few questions that I have and then decide whether it is actually um, appropriate for your organisation uh, to submit an entry or not. Does it add value or doesn't it add value? So what we will be dealing with is um, I'll just run you through a few key uh, bits around the, uh, the awards. Um, we'll ask about the questions about why entry um, and then just some contact information at the back. So just quickly to run through the Lateral Insight Awards, it is our 30th year. We're very proud of it. We're very, very glad that we can actually support the WAICT industry and the profession, uh, the innovation and the excellence that happens here in West Australia. Uh, I'm certainly a fan and always say, go WA. So I would uh, appreciate, well, I would hope that after this uh, session that you are just as motivated and enthusiastic about uh, entering as I am uh, to be a chief judge um, again. So we are at this stage actually running the program in terms of the product uh, service and uh, project categories, the startups and the students. Um, the honorary awards will be dealt with in the second half of this year. There's more information on our website um, as to that. With the uh, product categories that we're running, there is a, a dual uh, process. So the first stage is an online submission stage. I mean, this is where you are now. So you, you'll decide whether you want to enter or not. Uh, once that process is done, there will be an online judging process and we will select some finalists. So should you then go through as a finalist, um, We'll go into the second phase, which is a virtual face-to-face -face presentation, again, with a set of uh, judges, uh, industry experts, um, where once we're done, we will go through a process of formally recognising through um, an event, uh, the details yet to be determined, um, where we will recognise the winners and the merit award winners. Um, just merit award winners and winners will then go through to the I awards, and similarly, if you become a, a winner or a merit award, award winner at the I Awards, you will have the opportunity to go through to a picture. We have traditionally done really well um, as a state at the I Awards and even at a picture. So um, as I said, go WA. Just note that if uh, you are based here in Western Australia or your product or service uh, or your project has materially been developed here in Western Australia, you have to enter uh, through the Inside Awards. You cannot uh, enter through the I Awards uh, directly. If you have any questions about that or you're not sure, uh, please send an email uh, to us um, and I will deal with um, uh, any questions in, in that regard. Just a quick run through uh, our categories for this year for this particular phase is our Peter Fillory Undergraduate Student Project research and innovation, startup, social impact, transformative solutions, and innovating government. You are more than welcome to enter in more than one category um, with a maximum of three per entrant. Um, so, uh, and I would actually recommend it when people have asked in the past, I would have said, try more than one. It is such a great opportunity to actually have a peer review done, but let me not jump the gun. Let's go through the questions. So just before we go to that, a uh, key day to remember here is the 9th of April, because that is the closing date. Um, and then we will keep you posted with the other developments. So there is more information on our website. There are a, a few other videos available. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. So why enter the Lateral Insight Awards? Um, I thought that I will ask you a few questions or provide you with some comments and then you can decide whether the awards is right for your organisation. Um, because it is always like anything as a competitive process, it actually takes quite a bit of, not quite a bit, but it takes a little bit of time and it takes a lot of thinking. Um, and so um, we want to make sure that it is right for you. So. 
I am going to run through a few questions. And then at the end of it, I would say that if you picked one, think about it. If you pick two, think about it a bit more seriously. But if you have actually gone and said yes to a number of things, or I, I really need this, then I would really encourage you to apply. Um, so first thing is, do you need to test your value proposition? Um, can you clearly articulate it and can you demonstrate what problem you solve? And if the solution that you, that you bring is innovative or novel? Now, it, it sounds quite interesting, you know, solving problems, bringing solutions. But what we have found in the past is that this is actually really quite difficult uh, for innovators, organizations to be able to come and say, what is really the problem that they solve? Um, and what is the value proposition? So um, through the Inside Awards, what we actually provide um, in this process is because we, we do the face-to-face -face second um, uh, uh, judging, is you'll get an opportunity to present to industry peers. Uh, even in the first phase, you are actually being judged by industry peers. It's people that have no um, uh, conflict of interest with your entry because we actually run with a conflict of interest process. So we, we, it's people that are objective. Um, and it's people that will, will, that will assess what you've provided and say, hey, you actually understand your value proposition. Um, if this actually provides you with that opportunity in the face-to-face -face session, what happens when we do do the presentations is what I've, what I've seen because as the chief judge, I do not do any judging, but I actually um, attend most of the presentations is that the judges will go and ask some questions and people will go, I never thought of this. This is actually the problem we're solving. So if you're not 100% sure about whether you are clearly articulating your value proposition, are you really making the mark? Are you hitting the mark with the problem that you're solving, with the, so the solution and why it adds value? Why is it innovative? Then I would suggest that you actually consider entering in our process. Um, do you have an opportunity to benchmark? So in a business to business world, there are a few um, opportunities to benchmark. You know, when we provide to um, individuals, there could be net pre presenter scores, but is it something that's objective? Uh, does it have a process where it actually tests um, not only whether it feels good, but whether it is actually good? So if you're not able to have an independent objective um, assessment or benchmark is one of the reasons why you should consider um, to enter. Uh, how often do you get access to peer review by a panel of industry peers? Um, and, and the judges that we have in our panels are amazing people. They are people with experience, they're people with a broad range um, of experience. Um, and because they're objective, and, and, and again, as I said, we do not allow with this conflict of interest, you will not have a judge that's your friend on a panel. Um, does, do you have option opportunities for someone that is actually, or for a panel that is objective to review and assess? And do, when you do the face-to-face, -to, -face, to actually get that opportunity for them to ask questions for better clarity? As I said, as I've seen with the face-to-face -face, uh, sessions, the, the amount of, of people coming away with that aha moment, that, that pivot opportunity in terms of saying, in actual fact, this is the problem that we solve. This is how our solution does it. That has been really quite um, uh, inspiring to see that. So if you do not have access to a panel, um, yes, we do charge an entrance fee, but it's a very relatively low fee to be able to have access to this. Do you have access to um, expanding your business reach? So certainly within the state, because of the long standing of our awards, um, with the backing that we have with our sponsors, um, what our entrants normally find is that they, they by just uh, becoming a finalist, and then when you are um, uh, being selected as a, as a winner or a merit award winner, is that that exposure already grows and brings opportunity for development. Um, in actual fact, in this online world, 
uh, what we found with one of our startup entrants or finalist uh, winners last year is that it actually provided an opportunity for some venture capital uh, funding. So when you go through to the next phase in terms of uh, I awards, it even expands that more. And when people go to the you know, Picta, it just exponentially expands um, the business reach. So do you have that um, access to it? Or do you really have to fight with the masses to actually get your spot in the sunlight? So it is really whether you actually have that opportunity or not. Um, and if you don't, this is a very good uh, way to do it. It's not an easy, it's a competition. We, you know, we do not give uh, awards away for free. It's, people have to work, they have to demonstrate, they have to be, uh, be able to articulate. Um, but it's, it's really, really good to see how businesses grow um, and, and expand that started here in WA. Um, can you do this showcasing cost effective? You know, the, the highest uh, fee that we have is 375 plus GST. So it's, it's, but it provides you with opportunity for becoming a finalist. We provide you with a logo. We provide you with promotion. We provide, um, so, but it also comes with the backing of the fact that we've done this for the last 30 years. We, we do know a little bit what we're talking about. We actually know a lot what we're talking about because we are backed by industry. Uh, we're backed by people in the industry that are credible, uh, reputable. Um, we have systems and processes in place. So it's a relatively low cost, uh, high value return opportunity for you. Um, and, you know, um, would 30 years mean something to you or not? Um, it's, it's been, I've been part of the, um, the Inside Awards now for it's my fourth uh, year. Um, as chief judge, and I certainly can tell you that every year we look at what we do, every, every year within the year, we look at what we do to make sure that we remain uh, relevant, that we, that we are able to adapt, that we're agile. Um, and we can do this because we're run by volunteers who are industry experts, who know how to run a business, who know, who know what it takes uh, to, to run a project, how to set up companies. So, it's really that benefit that you will get if you actually uh, participate in uh, the Inside Awards. So, did you tick any of these boxes? It is still up to you to make a decision. It's, uh, we do take some work. Um, it will take some time for you to complete the entry, but it's, it's, a, it's a really great exercise. It provides amazing opportunities. So, if the Inside Awards is for you, there's a lot of information to enter. Um, the, the link is in, uh, in the presentation. Um, and if you have any more questions or you need any more information or you're not sure 100% in terms of which category or categories would fit best, please uh, send an email to the events email. Um, also, again, if you have a specific question for me as the chief judge, just make sure and say, hey, this is a, an email for Celia. Um, it will come through to me and I will, I will monitor and um, uh, respond to it um, and touch base with you or call you if need, need be. So there is a lot of information on our website. Um, but if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. We really look forward to uh, seeing your entries um, and uh, being able to showcase your innovation. I do hope you have a lovely day and uh, see, you, uh, see you online.